So, uh, sorry, my microphone was muted out. Uh, welcome again to the stream. Uh, we tested today some kind of PvP. Uh, we tested out a lot of Larfries and uh, with Atrocitus or with uh, Starfire because of their interaction. Uh, we tested that the number three on Larfries is not uh, being considered, um, you know, it can miss. So it will not purge uh, the buffs. Um, I just and uh, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Uh, even though uh, it's supposed to uh, cannot miss. Uh, and beside that, uh, we are going to wait until the event is going on, and then we will probably end up um, playing the event with as much as we can with uh, Orange Corps. Uh, Lar freeze and we will see how was the Ant-Man movie a uh, pretty cool and uh, the second uh, scene <laughs> was you know crazy yeah <laughs> uh, it is what it is uh, they tend to do this kind of stuff uh, it's fine I think that uh, it means that if uh, if that thing happened it means that someone has still control on it so maybe he will uh, without any kind of spoilers instruct it to do something because if he can control it to just you know play it that's something that can be done but again we will I suppose see in a bunch of month yeah we will see in a bunch of months because on March there will be second part of Avengers so Avengers uh, Infinity War part 2 is it has no name right now and uh, it will be you know the the end of the infinity war or infinity gauntlet experience <laughs> we will see and there's captain marvel before that so i'm pretty honest uh, i'm pretty hyped way more for aquaman on november december depending on where you live and uh, yeah so we have this uh, captain cold led team with uh, with Silver Banshee and it has to be considered that Silver Banshee shuts down Etrigan as much as she shuts down uh, Lord Freeze because when someone dies she will apply buff immunity on them and they will not be able to rack up the buffs so we have to kill uh, Silver Banshee as soon as possible and then we can proceed with the rest of the team so uh, the team that I was actually using could be good enough uh, but I'd rather use maybe even Starfire here uh, Star Sapphire, sorry just to be able to apply some damage on the, the blues so let, let's go like this and we will get Laura posting music or not <laughs> so as I said um, Silver Banshee has this apply buff immunity on everyone which no one is taking I don't know why it shuts down so many targets and I want to remove all the buffs and do damage on him so I will be able to you know damage the other guys here without caring about Clayface being in the way. No one is invisible, but I suppose I just kill... Uh, I don't know if I want to go on... Uh, on Captain Cold and kill him, or just... Uh, weaken up my 
Hi, Yoga. So thank you for passing by and cheering up on the stream. So I was saying, I don't know if I want to go on Hetrigan to remove the double attack or just uh, kill Captain Cold and rack up more buffs. I think it's better if we just remove the double attack from Hetrigan. And we can kill him. And from now on we can just uh, destroy them. So they said that they <coughs> fixed Clayface. So he shouldn't die until I have my... Uh, yeah, they, they, they actually fixed it. Um, so th the best thing that I can do here is to just lose the invisibility or apply healing immunity because he will he'll have like 60 percent so let's just take turn after turn uh, let's go like this let's hope we lose the invisibility yep okay fine he died so it seems that he's working correctly he just clapped like four times Yeah, I wanted to test uh, if he, uh, because there's an announcement on the uh, community center that they fix Clayface and it's working properly. So we can start using again uh, Clayface as long as there's no, <laughs> as long as there's no uh, Wonder Girl on the other side. So uh, let's go with... Uh, Maybe Superman for the healing immunity here. It's cool. The plan is always the same. Taunt with Superman and then we one shot. There's one thing. And because of those intelligence up, I think that I can apply some damage on Bane. This should not kill as uh, one thing nor Pioti. And we proceed with a taunt up. Uh, she should purge. Yep. And I did the mistake of letting my Superman die. I even said she should purge. Yeah, it's 1, 1 a.m. in the night for me, so I think that I am <laughs> some kind of uh, excuse about that. <laughs> so let's start with uh, that shot, our gun, uh, distraction. And that shot can just go on and one shot guys here. Or girls. How oh, many intelligence up? Yes. <laughs> 12, 18, 24. <laughs> sure. So how much this does? 300k? <laughs> 152? And Jess, I did test some Ivy with uh, Larfrey's uh, composition. The issue is that uh, Wonder Girl is so prominent in meta that's uh, not working uh, as you really want. Maybe it can work when there's no um, no Wonder Girl, but she is all over the place. And I even tried to use him with uh, Grodd and uh, Killer Frost. 
I think that I can do something <laughs> really risky here and upgrade Killer Frost to gear 11. Maybe I will do in the next days as soon as, uh, uh, as I see uh, how much difficult is the event. Because for the Lantern event I'm thinking of running something like this. Because you know Starfi Stars of Fire now is uh, gear 11. So my uh, team for no no particular order here is this one. They are all gear eleven, and uh, if I am legendary level uh, gated, I will probably end up removing Lefris because it's only L one, and I will go for Al Jordan and Arcus. and um, yeah maybe i have to play with uh, someone uh, i think that atrocitus will be l4 before the lantern event uh, starts and i think that i will be forced to upgrade uh, arcus uh, or all jordan to gear 11. if not i will probably end up as i said leveling up my killer frost i really love her and uh, with the influx of legendary essence for the siege yeah it should be doable so uh, constantine here uh, we can go the usual way kill Uh, kill uh, Constantine on turn one and then proceed to kill the other guys here and maybe uh, just to kill uh, Alleguin Magister and Wonder Girl um, hmm. okay so why do you need the tank you have Arcus with death immunity and <laughs> you don't need anything else no uh really mm, let's say there's no constantine team i need to find someone that i'm not uh auto losing on turn one so full on turn here uh could be something like one and two and three and this will be annoying as hell uh, it's annoying as hell because you have like <laughs> double chance to rest up with uh, atrocitus and uh, white lantern and sinestro uh, but this could work the issue here is that uh, you will have on the other hand, uh, Atrigan, that's just feeding on your stuff. Um, but we may give a try. And remember that my uh, Atrocitus is gear 11, Lafreeze is gear 11, Stars of Fire is gear 11, but my uh, White Lantern Sinestro is gear 10 with no rings on it. So let's see how much my low percent chance to res perk and how much Atrigan kills me and I don't know why they are faster because yep they are so let's go like this colonus is for everyone so first res for Lobo and my stars of fire nor <laughs> so this is the most unluckiest uh res neither uh white lantern sinestro nor atrocitus did proc on my res so bye bye this is why i don't like 30 percent stuff or 40 percent stuff so i had double chance to res and i just fizzled on both So, 
Uh, yeah, it happens. Uh, we have Adrian, Starfires. We may go one shot, Wonder Girl, uh, buff up. So there's there's Satrian with uh, increased damage on turn one. So maybe Superman will do the job and because healing immunity. And then my own Atrian. So let's try and one shot this Wonder Girl here, Killer, get some turn meter up, get some buffs on Superman and uh, Atrium. So right now I can. Yeah, I have the L1 on uh, that shot air gun, but sometimes it just <laughs> don't prog. I don't know why. Uh, so I was saying, let's apply some healing immunity on uh, on Lobo, and let's kill him. I've seen a couple of times already. Uh, where my number one on uh, on that shot air gun just ignore the fact that I have the 100% turn meter up he just refused to work maybe this time I could have procced let me check if he if he's slowbo at the TM down, so he's Lobo at the TM down on this, so I lost 15% uh, turn meter because of this. So let's go over this one. Uh, this will be, you know, a huge mess. Uh, because when we kill uh, Constantine, he will apply a whole lot of debuffs on our team. And then there's uh, Alequin Magister and uh, Swamp Thing. So, what we can do here... To be honest, I can go for something uh, that I'm playing as of late. That's something like this. So the reasoning here is that um, Deadshot is able to one-shot blue, non-tanky blue, even from non-leadership. And because, yeah, you know, because you have crappy luck, uh, and because of um, that shot creating on Constantine, you will lose some turn meter. Uh, but because you will give turn meter up with uh, uh, Red Robin, uh, Red Hood, sorry. So basically, Constantine will give you 15% turn meter down, while your Red Hood, when you kill someone, will give 50% uh, turn meter down on them. So it it like of cancel. And the issue that I have here, as, as you can see, is that as soon as my Superman goes, uh, I will have too many buffs on my guys.
she's the luckiest in the world so she even survived She even survived with zero health. Alec Magister is so annoying. I hate her. And uh, I'm reading the comics and I find her comics to be one of the hardest to read because of how she speaks. There's no... Uh, there's no Wonder Girl here so we don't need to cheese it up. Uh, with that shot air gun and we may use something like um, Red Robin to purge Elegant Magister Red Hood uh, to buff up everyone so if we can go like this yes so let, let me try this uh, I need to check their speeds One hundred nineteen. Okay. So what I get, what I want to try here uh, is this barring the enrages. So Red Robin will uh, remove the taunt from Alequin Magister. Uh, I will buff up the the strength on everyone. I still have the issue of having two evasion. So this this could be cool. I want to try it. Uh, it's just that there's healing immunity on uh, Red Hood. They cannot miss. The enrage is a thing. Yeah. But it's okay. So I didn't miss on the first one and I will go again with Constantine calling for another assist here which is fine I didn't even get a double attack so as soon as my Red Robin, go, Red Hood goes, I can go with Constantine, apply more uh, damage on uh, on Batgirl, hopefully killing her in the process. No bleeds for me, but I did manage to kill one of them, so I can apply some damage on uh, I think it's better if I go for first one thing here and then again I want to kill so my red robin will go next he is buffed and uh, let's try and apply some double attack on uh, on Cheetah or Red Hood. Red Hood should be... I don't want him to go twice. So... Let's go with Cheetah. One and two. I don't want him to take any kind of buffs or whatever. And... Uh, I know that I am not lucky, so I will not go on Swamp Thing. And as I said, I'm not lucky. <sighs> oh. Sometimes I hate my energy.
and I'm still not getting any kind of um, proc on invisibility from Constantine, meaning that I'm dead to Etrigan. Thank you. So that was no good. Cheetah was not good in that place. And uh, yeah, I think it's just going for something like Superman is better. Like I always do in this kind of team, you go like this. But again, I want to try something different because playing always the same thing is boring. And it's not that we have issues uh, in uh, going on. So, uh, as I said, this is easy, easy peasy with uh, Steppenwolf. There is no Wonder Girl here. And I want to try something different. That's why I'm just juggling around with uh, absurd composition. So, uh, someone that cannot miss on turn one. It's Killer Frost. Mm hmm. So, uh, let's go in order. We want some kind of healing immunity. So, if we go like this, like this, so let's go like this. Purge Alec with Magister, go on with the that shot. The strength up, we can use the Wonder Girls one. Uh, no, I don't want to cheese the game with that shot. Uh, as I said, this game is pretty easy with Steppenwolf. I want to, to try and find new composition, uh, so I want to have one strong uh, damage dealers that can apply healing immunity and can some kind of uh, snowball. So maybe use Steel Constantine is someone that I like. If my RNG doesn't screw me and everyone beside Red Robin is okay if enraged and I should be should have enough um, invisibility to proc consistently my my Red Robin so what I can do here is to buff up Wonder Girl So let's just remove the awareness and taunt from Alugan Magister. He did proc his uh, his strengths up and his agilities up, so that's why he is going uh, ham. Wonder Girl is going ham. So the strengths up did what I wanted, and uh, let's go again. I don't want Batgirl to just go nuts on my Wonder Girl, uh, Batgirl to go on the Wonder Girl. So I think it's uh, no, no, no. Um, I wanted to have some good composition that doesn't bother, uh, isn't bothered by the enrage from other Queen Magister, and uh, that cannot miss in a way. So Wonder Girl, if enraged, cannot miss. If she's not enraged, I don't care because I will buff up on turn one. Uh, Red Robin, as I cannot miss on third, uh, Constantine cannot miss on his first, and uh, uh, Red Hood has three strikes and the purge eventually. So, so here, what I want to do is um, just call an assist on Red Robin, Red Hood, sorry, or maybe. Uh, just apply some bleeds on Batgirl so she's not able to uh, kill one shot Wonder Girl. So she has one stack, and I'd like to go on Red Hood first and try to kill her uh, with some bleeds and a proc on his second. Let's see if this happens. Okay, he did happen. So let's start applying uh, bleeds and stuff on uh, 
Had we gone? So it should die right now. Uh, they are losing 50% turn meter. And we can now just apply uh, bleeds and uh, other debuffs on Alaquin Magister. And if he procs, he should remove the yep the evasion up, meaning that she is just prey of my guys here. So uh, let's let's keep playing with this team. Is nothing fancy. We don't have a first turn taunter, uh, but it's it's cool. And I always love my red hood. What what we don't have here is a good first turn uh, taunter. So bus kill. Uh, that shot will probably buff up on turn one. Superman will try and hit my red hood, uh, and red hood will kill my wonder girl. So maybe we want to to have a green in this team. We don't have any good way to destroy reds. If I taunt on uh, that shot, a uh, red dude on turn one. So let's let's keep trying because I, as I said, I really like this comp. Um, so first turn uh, should be. Wonder go, buffing up everyone, giving turn meter up to everyone. And then we start applying bleeds on Red Hood because it's the highest uh, threat to our composition. And then we want to apply some more damage to him, calling an assist and something. I really liked if uh, Red Hood was called instead of my uh, Red Robin. And we will bring a Superman low enough. Oh, so my Wonder Girl just died, and I'm gone. As I said, he has the steel buffs from uh, from Red Hood leadership. My plan was working until I didn't apply the taunt on uh, on Red Hood. So if I apply the taunt on Red Hood instead of um, instead of going for a call assist, uh, the damage will go round and around. Because I'm not, uh, you know, um, sure to go on Red Hood. Uh, but I suppose that Wonder Girl will um, take care of the rest with the whips. So let's go again and see if it works. So buff up. Uh, we apply some debuffs on Red Hood. We call a taunt on Red Hood again. Uh, we went on Red Hood even. And he did attack twice. So uh, this time I've been pretty lucky. I have some kind of compensated uh, the previous uh, lack of of everything here with a really lucky uh, kill no invisibility on Constantine means uh, no call assist and it would have been no call assist anyway because of the invisibility on uh, that shot here again so again <laughs> <laughs> we have been lucky uh, because of the double attack on Red Hood with a proc that made medium just go like 10,000 times. 
I really wish I had the legendary four point. Uh, this is no good because there's a power girl there that will one shot my guys. So when you find power girl behind Atrocitus, uh, even though we have the healing immunity from Red Hood, my team is slower than his. Uh, so I will just uh, die miserably here. So I don't know. I can try it let's say once uh, but then power girl will just destroy me or even uh, steppenwolf so we go like uh, this on turn one then we try and uh, lower wonder girl she went before my wonder girl We have to purge. And as I said, power girl with uh, the buffs is just crazy. If I get to kill uh, the opponent uh, Wonder Girl, I have a chance. Um, if I don't, I'm just screwed. And I'm screwed. Or maybe I still have a chance if I get the invisibility. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, try this. <laughs> Wrong target misses. Oh, finally I got an invisibility on uh, on Constantine. This Wonder Girl has been clutch <laughs> with this like five health. So as I said, this team is pretty cool and uh, things can go, can go south uh, against the uh, wrestlers if you don't proc the, the good things in order. Beside that, it's kind of cool. So let's try again. As I said, I'm just trying a new team composition. I, I suppose it's better if we put the four science icon up there. So Wonder Girl has been enraged, which is what I want to see here. So maybe I just purge Alaguin Magister. She cannot miss. And <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> the fact that Red Robin proc uh, his third skill, his fourth skill means that he purged everything. So let's try and go for the most scary thing in there, which is Wonder Girl. And we did kill her. So right now we want to apply some damage uh, again with Red Hood. And so I did get a double proc, so it, this will... This will be crazy good. So Red Dude uh, has always been and it will be one of my favorite uh, leadership. 
because he's able to just uh, um, stop them in their tracks uh, disallowing any kind of uh, of turn completely so let's try and purge those evasion up and the fact that he is a bleeder and he can get Termiter back uh, means that you can just uh, kill high health characters uh, with the bleeds because it's true damage and it's like 3% of for every bleeds so uh, the, the, this team is, is nice it's not something uh, you know the end of the world uh, but you have uh, Constantine that can call an Astis on Red Hood, which can proc his second and get more Turmeter up. A Wonder Girl to clean up your guys and purge your opponents. And uh, Red Robin uh, purging your opponents and cleaning up your guys and speeding up a slow composition. Um, yeah, seems interesting. So here, what we can do here is to just speed up Constantine and start applying debuffs on uh, on Superman, so he will not be able to taunt up on the next turn. I really wish that I can get some kind of uh... so Red Robin has two invisibility if I give them two strengths up it will get to six that's not something that I want to see so let's go for some damage on Wonder Girl oh nope that Catwoman usually buffs up on turn one so we are dead. Unless he gets to proc his second here. He need to proc his second and go again. Or we are just dead. Yeah. The the sad thing is that uh, usually uh, you have um, Catwoman buffing herself on turn one, and she didn't. She just uh, uh, kicked Wonder Girl into smithereens. So let's go back here. I suppose that if we go again things can go differently and uh, yeah let's try again and if we don't uh, we just change this team because they have so many uh, tanky uh, character here that maybe it's not worth so maybe we can go for something like buff wonder go turn meter up to everyone Try to kill Wonder Girl on turn one. So like this. And then we go. For the purge here. So Superman should be dead 
um, as soon as we take a turn and um, obviously we didn't so <laughs> let's remove the chance that uh, this stupid catwoman kicks again my wonder girl remove two meter on them and then just go again killing them so turn meter up to everyone and strength up to everyone it's what we want to see here so we just taunt up our red hood meaning an attack and a proc hopefully yep so we keep attacking with red hood here strength up our eugenium because he will do increased damage, which is marginal. Uh, but if he proxies a second, it's just a slaughter. And Catwoman cannot heal. So, <laughs> yeah, death of Superman. As I said, this team is weak. Uh, it's not a 100% team. And I think it's pretty scary on defense. Because uh, if you just give one kill to them, it will snowball. So, uh, it's 20 minutes until the new event. Let's just play something stupid here. So let's play some, let's leave those low level uh, points for later. Um, and let's try and find something else. So, this team is cool. Red Hood, Red Robin, Wonder Girl and Constantine. And I really wish that I had Red Red, Red Hood 4th skill. Uh, fifth, sorry, the leadership one. Legendary points. So, let's find another way to beat this team that doesn't involve... Uh, dead shot killing on turn one uh, that wonder girl so what we can do here uh, is trying to constantine our way into them forcing them to the issue with constantine here is that if you use constantine and lobo uh, you will feed wonder girl Because Lobo will gain like 10,000 stamina up and taunt. So let's say if we go something like this uh, Constantine, Lobo, Lobo, where are you? Constantine, Lobo, and maybe. Well, we can use here. Uh, is someone that could proc Constantine on turn one and we have the invisibility and then in the last spot we can use uh, we don't want to use Wonder Girl because she will um, some of you know feed in a way Wonder Girl Hmm, Atrocitus is pretty cool here. Siren is good. Uh, the issue with Siren uh, is that she will get one shot by Batgirl onto one. So I will play Siren here. And she will get one shot by and she will uh she can be hit by uh starfire and she will be debuffed by uh power girl so i want to kill power girl uh, wonder girl sorry does you use red robin constantine taunt all of yes i will use that 
the issue is that um, so so let's go with siren the issue is wonder girl you want to kill wonder girl and she has a uh, evasion up on turn one so As you can see, Red Robin was not worth in that slot for this specific tactic, and Siren just dies to bad girls. That's why I don't want to use uh, her in that spot. And as you can see, she just propped with four stupid buffs. For the love of God, fix this stupid Wonder Girl bug. So, uh, as I said, uh, you don't want to use Red Robin in that moment. Uh, which was was which team was this? Okay, uh, you don't want to use Red Robin uh, like that on turn one because it will just. Um, give the opponent you you have to kill wonder girl and to kill wonder girl uh, you have to expect red robin uh, to go twice so you speed him up through sight and then you attack uh wonder girl trying to bring her down and then you aoe with lobo so this one cannot be uh, a blue if you go like this You have the first turn on, uh, on him, and then you try and bring um, Wonder Girl low enough. And as you can see, but go on turn one is so good that's scary. And so you try and kill Bat Girl here, failing miserably. Oh fine, he used the bike. Don't taunt, please. So let's try and kill this Wonder Girl here. And maybe another proc, yes. Okay, so we have left with the Lobo against Power Girl. Which is fine, to be honest. I should have taunted here. It's okay. I will get the awareness. The taunt again. Remove the turn meter on them. And then you just bleed them to death. Okay, Constantine did it uh, without a little bit of luck, as you can see, uh, but it's okay. 
And sorry if I'm not shouting like this afternoon, but there's my girlfriend sleeping in the room behind me. So I cannot be so, you know, crazy. And maybe we can go with... So I was saying Lord Freeze and uh, Stars of Fire in a call assist compo with Lobo. Let's try this. This feeds perfectly into Larfree Starfire. Especially if they decide to kill Lobo on turn 1. So please, power go, kill Lobo. Nope, they decide that it's not worth killing him. And uh, as you can see... <laughs> Uh, Lobo taunts up because of the heal that he will get. I don't know why they could... Oh, he has true sight. So... Let's remove those true sight. Fine, thank you. And then let's... Let's kill. So no proc from uh, lucky me. No proc from uh, the third one. The fifth legendary skill on. Uh, on Lar freeze, the, the the skill on Lar freeze didn't proc the point on uh, Starfire. Let's kill him. One hundred ninety three k. Lar freeze is like really really atrium. So again, this team, let's try it. I want them to kill uh, Lobo as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, I see that, people. So Lobo, please die. Lobo did get a double attack. Starfire did get the... <sighs> I hate when this happens. What I should do right now is to just... Uh, does she have some kind of anything? Not at all. So let's steal nothing. Let's just heal ourselves. Let immunity. Let's hope that Robo Resses taunt up. Yes, fine. And now we can destroy all those buffs on Entrigan. Kill Power Go. Taunt up on Lobo. He did get the the true side, which is clutch for him. But the amount of intelligence up on uh, on Larfreeze is going to make a difference against uh, his stupid Hadrian. So this. This constant in Larfree's Starfire Lobo combo is like calling an assist on Starfire for everyone. 
because if Lobotont, it will call Starfire with a 75%. If Larfrey is just randomly attack, it will call for an assist on La Starfire with a 75%. Uh, which is pretty cool. So we ended up, uh, you know, discovering or finding or whatever uh, these new teams. And the common denominator here is Constantine. I love him so much. Uh, in this one, we wanted to uh, benefit from the call assist on Larfreeze, triggering Starfire's first death immunity and buff up. So we can AoE with her third skill buffed up and gain more intelligence up on our freeze. Constantine easier for the call assist. Um, for the call assist and the ability to taunt up on Lobo, uh, giving bleeds and uh, stuff on your opponents. And the fact that Lobo can manipulate a turn meter on your opponents is even pretty good. And again, uh, if they start dying, Constantine can just snowball out of control with his third skill. The other team uh, was more based around buffing up your guys uh, with strengths up uh, and giving turn meter up by Wonder Girl because both Red Robin and Red Hood don't have a pretty good first uh, skill damage. So the call assist from Constantine is marginal. But what you wanted here is to have some kind of uh, synergy between the purges from Red Hood, Red Robin and Wonder Girl. And because the first skill on every of them is pretty good, uh, Red Hood can proc his uh, turn meter skill from his second. And Red Robin can just apply a lot of buff immunity on guys. Um, yeah. They were working, so we are pretty happy about this. Before we go into the event, uh, I think that I want to uh, buy this energy. And we should be like three minutes in, so I will wait my energy to... I will get this two minute um, energy and then I will go into the event. So let's take a little break here for a couple of minutes and we will be back uh, when the event starts. I'm pretty uh, hyped about getting uh, Atrocitus 12 for. I have the Legendary Essence uh, saved up for that. And to be honest, I'm scared that he will bump up uh, to some kind of uh, Superman level, ruining my icon. <laughs> Beside that, uh, um, I have Atrocitus right. I have Larfris right now, and Atrocitus is L L three already. So I don't think that ev the event will be hard as it was on the first part. And I have uh, so many guys on Discord and Reddit, and even friends from Telegram, uh, saying that they weren't able to complete the event or it was too hard or whatever. Uh, so let's see if this one is hard or something so let's go there um 15 second i don't know why in the social tab they remove the energy here well if you go there uh, there's still the energy so one minute uh, i don't know why i press the button So I saved enough, uh, it was like 120 and we are 145 for the event. It's not enough to just complete it, uh, but I suppose it's enough just to, um, I have to buy like 120 or something, maybe a couple of those. And in one week, so next Sunday, 
if we will have this I was on my vent for the lanterns I will uh, stream next Friday uh, as usual I think that this uh, uh, midnight stream on Friday is becoming more and more uh, stable so 25 seconds until the event what's the new new login uh, tomorrow so 10 uh, level 1 stuff So let's go over it. Uh, new event. <coughs> I don't know what happened. Okay. Over the notes of Rubina. Let's go on the event. And as I said, I will try and solo it with... Uh, so let's put the, the team back. Larfries. Let's see how much he can do all alone. So, uh, the series will be called, uh, thank you to Paul for the suggestion, will be called uh, Larfris Steal the Word. He really needs an AOE just to speed up things. And he will be cool. It will be cool if there's a, a you know, Greed Hunter. So he purged all buffs. So we have to kill Larfreeze as soon as we see it. Because he has the legendary points, even though he is not legendary. So the first skill is just doing all the, the heavy lift. So I have to use two heroes here. Let's use someone that's in the dumpster. Oh, Sinestro. Let's use Sinestro. So he even has a an AOE Sinestro that can heal. So th that it's a Grid Hunter. So Grid Hunters are a thing here. We have to kill them as soon as possible. Or we are just losing all those sweet buffs. So Atrocitus is the next boss, correct? <laughs> so Corrupted, Corrupted, Greed Hunter. They used to have this Greed Hunter in a big bulky shape and nowadays they just give the Greed Hunter type to everyone.
<laughs> 246k. I'm just waiting for the four waves, five waves of enemies, and <laughs> I want to see how many stacks I can get with them. Corrupted, corrupted, redundant. This is trivial, they are just low level. So the, the bulky one was that Grid Hunter. Uh, they keep changing. And this one is a Grid Hunter. So they no need they no longer steal all the buffs, just a couple of one. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Thirty-eight energy. We will need some something soon. So the grid hunter should be the last one. Corrupted. Yes. This was the grid hunter, yes. As I said, the only thing that's lacking is an AoE. An AoE with all those uh, Intelligence up would have been just gross. And for my fourth legendary skill on Atrocitus, I think I will go with uh, his fourth skill and I will leave the, the first one uh, for the last. I want the rest eventually, so. So another another boss node. Two grid hunter. Did 
So Nightwing in the shop. Uh, it's a cool offer. It's a pretty good offer. Uh, let's say 30 shirts for 950 is good. And the rest is just dumpster stuff. So let's just buy 120. And we should have uh, another 20 on the back pedal there. Because uh, this is considered an upgrade event. And to be honest, I should run the upgrade event and gather some um, rings, some blue rings. So the middle one is a uh, grid hunter. Let's see which one is the grid hunter here. So just the first one. And don't worry Jess, see you in the morning or in the next days. I will probably stream on Sunday as I said. Uh, so see you there. Thank you for being here and have a, have a good night's sleep. I will, as I said, I will just uh, complete the event and then I will burn my PvP energy and go to bed too. Good night. Thank you for being here. So I need a third one. I will use another another lantern because see it's on team. So grid hunter. Um Sinestro is gear five, I suppose. Uh, while Broccoli is gear 7 not that they are doing any kind of damage here so the green hunter should be this one Yeah, our freeze damage is just good. Welcome to the stream, Carol. Uh, and as of Broccoli, I really like his kit. Uh, the issue is that uh, I even have him at L4. And with this amount of PvP, I will get him to L5. Uh, the issue is that um, I, I lack the rings. So uh, I really don't want to invest rings in those. And talking about rings, let's just go here and get those five rings. Oh, cool! I think I can go for another run of those, or maybe there's Sunday. So 
turn meter up on this one or chance to purge these debuffs yeah turn me up so we are already into the 35 part yeah death and life ring to be honest death and life ring are pretty easy to get by the big issue are the um, the op ring because death and life for each hero you will need uh, a maximum of uh, let's say that you have five legendary skill every skill will require three so you will need maximum of 15 for a new hero uh, while you will need like something in, and in a month you will gain 15 so you can fully skill a hero every month uh, the issue is that with the the op ring you will need like 200 for every hero so that's that Uh, this playlist is over um, so we were talking about uh, this afternoon about the music that I like and let's go over this group uh, as I said that in life uh, you gain like one every day and you get two days uh, every week let's say two life or two death um, so you will gain like two every week uh, in a month is like eight which is barely there where you want to be uh, in the op uh, the op you will get from a minimum of uh, uh, 10 20 each week to a maximum of uh, two times that yep to 40 and there's not enough for a full skill up I really wish that they will allow us to swap a raid ring <laughs> for hop rings I'm trying to just uh, avoid killing them with other guys instead of uh, a large freeze just because I don't want them to um, compromise the event of large freeze doing this on his own and if it happens I'm nothing against that So this is a grid hunter node. And uh, yeah, we have to be careful here. So usually the grid hunter are a physical one yeah uh, I, th I really hope that they will um, maybe if they are going to introduce gear 12 or legendary six they will have some use of the 
uh, rage ring but uh, we even opt something like that for the gear and we still have the unfair balance where you have one gear uh, being needed way more than the others so I wouldn't uh, hold my breath so this one is a large freeze L3 So this should be a I suppose that that was a grid hunter. So the grid hunter is this one, no, red hunter, grid hunter is this one, and this one. So we have two grid hunter here. <laughs> on the same map, let's say, on the same node with the uh, Larfries. Cool. But again, um, it seems to me that um, the permanent intelligence app are making everything so trivial uh, that you can use everything here and you will complete it anyway so maybe let's just speed it up use starfire or wonder girl whatever uh, we just go quick over it and maybe we will end up playing with uh, atrocitus l4 Yeah, because it's to be honest it's pointless to just go slowly especially in these low level nodes it's clear that he can do that on himself because on a long wave node like this one on um, five nodes uh, i will just uh, destroy them i'm gaining like 50 or more three four five six seven there are seven stacks of six buffs so 42 stacks 42 intelligence up which means that everything will melt under is yeah 400 key damage I really like to see no uh, this should be so let's think about this this will do 314 well this oh, so it scale way more so the grid hunter are the fattiest one I think we can just go with uh, uh, the yeah, we next next round we will just go because it's just uh, <laughs> a long way to the last nodes and it's again trivial especially after the first wave when you are ready gathered up so many buffs on Larfries
300k Five hundred key. <laughs> so let's, uh, yeah, uh, welcome to a stream, Mac. Uh, Lar freeze is so good in PvE because he will just destroy everything and it's even better than uh, uh, than Hatrigan because he gets Termitor up he can just rack up uh, buffs over buffs over buffs so as I said I will go with uh, some kind of proper team because I want to speed this up and uh, yeah, it's better if we go just like this uh, AoE until the end of days, and uh, so many chain procs. Yes, yeah, sure, still our buffs. This is way faster. <laughs> and he still has uh, like a bunch of those. So, Scotty, would you go for his uh, self res or his uh, first skill on a tragedy to self for? Fres. Yeah, I was thinking about that and leaving uh, the the first skill for L five. And the, the cool thing about the first skill is that you will benefit. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, the, the, the good thing about the first skill is that you, if you play with Starfire and Larfreeze, uh, they will all be slower than him. And then you will get like 75% increased damage. But it's like some kind of uh, win more skill more than uh, a good skill that you want to use yeah i was using larfries uh, alone until now uh, but things went uh, slowly and i'm really tired and i want to go to bed soon so Uh, but the issue with uh, with Atrigan uh, with uh, Atrocitus is that his his third skill does a lot of damage. So let's see how much we do on a uh, three hundred seventy three.
Uh, are you talking about uh, um, atrocitus or? Is this the last node for the, the event? So is the, yeah, this is the last node. At, uh, yeah, I think that two, three and uh, five is the way to go, especially for leadership. The leadership is pretty good, uh, but to be honest, Atrocitus is one that can benefit of L4 or L5 until the end of days, so... Let's hand this. <laughs> Gonzo. <laughs> yeah, uh, even in PvP. Uh, Scotty, you weren't here uh, this afternoon, um, but um, uh, Lar Freeze and Starfire is a deadly composition. Trust me, I have played this afternoon, uh, even this evening, uh, with this team. So, this team here. And it's good. I have some energy, so if you don't mind, uh, just bear with me and let's see if we can find someone to fight. I don't, I don't say that this will be an easy fight. I just want to showcase the uh, interaction. So again, we have Wonder Girl and Etrigan. This composition is horrible for us. Uh, but see what happens. The, it happens that Wonder Girl just kills everyone. So in this case, I purged on miss. I don't know why this purge is acting wonky. Oh, okay, so never mind. Let's get out of here. No, 
it doesn't Persian miss um, but um, it seems that it can Persian miss uh, so I will just uh, play that team against something else uh, there's the issue here is one go because she will just mess with you badly and um, the point is that you want to use um, Constantine and uh, so bear with me I will showcase the team I'm too tired to think properly so the reasoning here I've played this uh, before the event so there are a few uh, stream in fact if you check the stream there's still the four science stuff on top I will remove it um, so uh, the thing here is that uh, you have Larfreeze calling up for Starfire Lobo stoned will heal Lobo so it will call again for Starfire Constantine is call an assist. If he calls for Larfreeze, he will call for Larfire, uh, Starfire. Or at least give her death immunity. And if he goes for anyone else, Lobo will apply bleeds. Starfire will do a lot of damage. So you end up being able to use the AoE on Starfire pretty soon, racking up more buffs on Larfreeze and Snowball. Lobo is there for the taunt as you, soon as you kill someone and eventually for the quick chance up on Lar freeze and if someone dies on your team constantine will just apply intelligence down on them meaning that starfire and freeze increase their damage they will do and uh, usually the one that dies it's lobo so pretty cool team uh, as long as you have the willpower to endure the matches um, i will just go here against uh, this 23k team okay i'm tired again i don't want to think too much about it um, yeah i really like lobo to be honest uh, it's one of my favorite character from the comic and uh, yeah but the issue is that as you can see uh, you can screw things up with uh, stupid uh, Wonder Girl killing your stuff on turn 1. So as you can see Lobo heals up and Starfire just decide that she is not worth to proc. And the intelligence down from um, Constantine on that, you know, trigger are pretty good. So as I said, uh, the team is cool. Larfreeze is another way that you can um, that you can benefit from calling an assist on Starfire. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the other team that I toyed with uh, this evening before going into the event uh, was I don't know if they're still here and it was this one Red Robin, Red Dude, uh, Wonder Girl and Constantine this was the second team that I played uh, for the science part of the event and, and it's another pretty cool team this bot are pretty good and this one is more focused around the starfire and getting a huge chunk of intelligence up because of lobo's heal larfrey's heal call assist and whatever and this one is more focused on buffing up your bleed generation with constantine and red dude purging everything with on your team with red robins fourth and wonder girl second uh, or purging your opponents with Red Dude, Red Robin and Wonder Girl you know uh, buffs on their team will not stick and uh, if you call an assist with Red Dude or Red Robin it's pretty good uh, because they will be able to purge and Red Robin has the chance to gain the invisibility from Constantine 
So these are two teams I was trying to toy with uh, before the, the event and they ended up being pretty cool. They are not uh, the end of everything, you know. These are not the definitive team that you will see in this game. Nothing like, uh, you know, Swan Thing, Constantine and whatever. But they are pretty good. Against, against Batgirl, Wonder Girl and the Green Magister team, uh, you can just cheese them with uh, something like this. And you will win every time. So let's see, let's see I find one. There should be Joker there. So this team. Uh, the issue with Superman is that he will allow you to taunt on turn one. So as you can see, Superman got enraged. You don't care because he has the time to be purged by Red Robin, fourth or his own skill. So you just you can you have two choices here. The first one is the safe one, uh, giving true sight to Deadshot and killing Wonder Girl. The second one is the riskier move, uh, while you purge your Alequin Magister and go from there. I'd rather have my Deadshot safely killing. A wonder girl here because as i said i'm tired and i don't want to overthink about stuff and i use superman because i want to safe keep uh, my guys and to be honest i didn't want that shot higher gun but wonder girl is all over the place and uh, it's like a necessary evil uh, if you want to find other ways uh, you can use Constantine, but the issue with Constantine is that Wonder Girl will just uh, destroy you because when you use Lobo, Daddy Lobo, obviously, he will gain so much buff that she will purge them all. So let's taunt up with a constant uh, Etrigan, and I'm bringing Etrigan to fight your your opponents, Etrigan. And you want to taunt up here because next turn I will have the chance to just uh, snipe Hatrigan because he lost his uh, enrage immunity, a uh, crit immunity. Sorry. So let's try and kill. Obviously, I missed. I yet want to go. I Manchester. I hate her. with all my guts so let's try and kill her he is crit immune so there is no point in going there just some normal damage and let's try and purge him So I need to be lucky here and uh, stun Hatrigan so he cannot buff and I didn't because luck is not my name. I'm tired. <laughs> so let's go. But what I was saying is that uh, sometimes, I, as I said, uh, it's like it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, you can beat those teams easily like this, or you can go with Constantine. And to be honest, uh, you can even use your Lar Freeze here if you have him. Or Starfire. So let's go with the Hatrigan because it is. Matt, let's start fire. Just because I'm bored. So let's use this song. And uh, let's push our luck. It's 
uh, comical relief when you just go for the risky move and it pays out way more than playing it safe. As you can see, <laughs> the the risky move was way better than the, the safe play with Atrigan. Because you brought uh, two greens against Atrigan and you just three starred it. I even went for the dispel on Alagun Magister because I'm bored over. So, uh, all said and done. Uh, I will keep on playing on uh, tomorrow, but I will not stream because I will be at uh, some friends uh, playing Magic the Gathering, so I won't be able to, you know, play constantly. And uh, I will stream on Sunday. Uh, there will be the last part of this uh, right arena. I'm trying to be uh, top 35 because I want those last shards for um, Red Robin. If this week it doesn't seem like you know a very hard fought week uh, it's only friday uh, or saturday uh, so i usually was like 100 and something right now um, beside that we will stream on sunday and on monday for the last push and it's been fun up to now we are trying stupid composition getting some win even <laughs> with some crazy stuff so and the average siege is going uh, perfectly here uh, we are like top 50 ish and i'm fine with that as long as i get uh, at up to 600 so rank 600 uh, is where i want to be at least so i will get him to l4 And I still have to decide which one I will leave out. So, again, thank you for being here. Uh, catch you on Sunday. It's time for me to go to bed. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, have a good night or good day if it's afternoon or whatever for you. So, uh, catch you up in the next days. Bye-bye. Ciao.